Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truths, episode 117 for Russell Brand and other people. Today, today is about non-competitiveness. <laughs> so someone named Drew Cannoli, actually someone named Thomas, sent me this. And I thought, you know what? I think I should spread this. <laughs> it said people are always competing for everything, for jobs, uh, food in the grocery store. <laughs> Money, uh, water, <laughs> some places. Um, it says that we need to drop all that. We need to make a different mindset. We need to think about completing instead of competing. Um, taking a look at the scenario and going, hmm, what can I add? <laughs> instead of, <laughs> what can I take away? <laughs> so, yes, I'm wearing my genie hat and um, my magic wand, <laughs> which I glued the little hearts back on again. And it kind of reminded me of this hat, which I made. <laughs> My magic genie hat. <laughs> so if I could, I'd wave the magic wand <laughs> over the planet, <laughs> which I do in meditation anyway. Um, just take a moment and get out of this vehicle. It's just a body. <laughs> so if you closed your eyes, really, how much space do you take up? You, you could actually be the entire universe. And so, maybe you are. When you go to meditate, if you are a seasoned meditator, you can sit for four hours. <laughs> you love yourself because you know you're one with the entire universe. It's very easy to love everyone else because they are you in a different body. <laughs> it's easy, right? Not really. Uh, take like another aspect of you, which is of course another human, and they're like yelling in your face. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Christian say you turn the other cheek. <laughs> Here, you may have my other side. <laughs> Go ahead, whack away. I don't exist, I'm a hologram. <laughs> I'm my spirit. <laughs> well, you know, if you've got a really good handle on this, uh, Jesus on a cross said, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Could I look at the other aspects of me? Well, you know what? Once something really bad did happen, and I was like, all right, God, this person's you. <laughs> I'm, I'm also. <laughs> so how would you like me to help? What would you like me to say? What would you like me to do? <laughs> Obviously, they need my help. That's why they showed up. <laughs> so pretty much anybody being negative is a call for help. Uh, so if you look at them that way, they're an aspect of you. I mean, particularly if you're positive, right? You don't identify. You, you think like, what? Well, everybody could be positive. <laughs> but maybe they've gone through some terrible things, so terrible, so unspeakably awful that you couldn't even imagine. Um, or maybe they did and they got over it already. Post-traumatic stress disorder, let's see. It took, it took about 10 years <laughs> to really, you know, get yourself back to being you again. Uh, and some people don't recover. You, you, you know, you walk that tightrope of coming back and uh, you, you, you don't. <laughs> You're cynical <laughs> and sarcastic and nasty and mean and don't trust. Um, and, that, you know, that's part of the healing process. So coming back, how do you how do you come back, and and what do you do? Do you really smack the other cheek? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, do you make, wave the magic wand <laughs> of love <laughs> and togetherness, and just make all the other stuff go away? Um, one of the best ways, of course, is to separate yourself from it if you find that you're becoming too negative, because you don't actually want to get you know engulfed in it. You would like to help them. You would like to add. You would like to complete. And I know there's lots of things in psychology that say you shouldn't complete. <laughs> but yes, you can, because this is an entire planet of us, of our oneness, and helping each person to fulfill and be loved and fulfill their life and their life's purpose. It's really what we're just here to do. And so since they're all of you, <laughs> just in another body. It's okay. You can you can add your your help um, and your love and your togetherness because we're really all one. 
So when we get to the end of this life, sometimes separating time. So in your mind, you might think like, you know, the old adage, like 50 years from now, would this matter at all? Will I remember this? Probably not. <laughs> so don't get upset. Walk away. It's easier said than done, especially when your emotions are flaring. But know that if your emotions are flaring, that's because there's a lot of love there. Because if you were completely apathetic and could walk away and be like, bye, see ya. <laughs> you would... Yeah, you wouldn't care. <laughs> so, so know that, you know, that fueled emotions actually are a sign of love. Uh, let's see. I would.